Word of God recognizes only the Christian religion as true and as capable of bringing salvation to men. It alone deserves the name of religion since it alone reunites sinful man with God. If man-made forms of worship are called religions, this term is applied to them in an improper sense. Just as idols are termed gods, although in reality they are not gods, since this is the case, it is impossible to find a general religious concept or definition by which all religions existing in the world, both the true and the false, may be grouped in a single class. Christianity, by its very origin, does not belong in the category of man-made religions. Christian Dogmatics by John Theodore Mueller of The Number of Religions in the World, page 7. This is an excellent quotation from Mueller. Mueller is arguing that there is no one general principle that all religions can be grouped under together. Mueller is also arguing that Christianity necessarily stands out by itself. The greatest Calvinist theologian and philosopher Gordon H. Clark also goes into the same subject in his book Religion, Reason, and Revelation. In fact, Clark has the very first chapter devoted to the idea that the term religion cannot be defined. The first chapter of Clark's book is titled, Is Christianity a Religion? And although I cannot, of course, give you the entire chapter, let me give you a few passages from this chapter uh, because he goes in greater detail and it very much pertains to what I read from Mueller. Check out this quote from Clark. Clark says, and I quote, What then is religion? Colloquially, the word is applied to Mohammedanism, Buddhism, and Christianity. But because it is vague, it can be applied to communism also. Then the definitions of religion take on the form of what a man will live and die for. Such definitions are completely without content and do not specify any definite subject of scientific investigation. At any rate, we need clear-cut concepts to avoid confusion. When a term like God is stretched to include every first principle that anybody has ever thought of, and every fetish, spirit, and superstition, though these are not first principles, the term means nothing. As Hegel insisted, every determination is a negation, or as Aristotle argued, a term not only must mean something, it also must mean not something. Let us therefore try to avoid confusion by being explicit. Most words in the dictionary have three, four, or even five somewhat different meanings. But if any word had a thousand meanings, or better, if any word could stand for every other word in the dictionary, nobody could tell what it meant. If a word means everything, it means nothing. To have no definite or limited meaning is to have no meaning at all. Religion, Reason, and Revelation, Chapter 1, Page 23.